Hey, this is Anna from JustPaint.com. I'm going to show you some basic tips on how to use face painting sponges. This is a half moon sponge. It's flat on one side, round on the other. I'm going to crack open some fresh face paint here and show you how to apply it to your sponge on the flat side first. You're going to need some water. If you don't have enough water, it's not going to come on your sponge. If you need more water, just dip the tip and then rub back and forth and back and forth and in a circular motion to fill up all those pores in your sponge. Once you have it totally covered with paint, ta-da, you can apply it to the face. You want to use a soft tapping motion like you're stippling the paint gradually in layers over the face. Ooh, that was bright. All right, now we're going to use the other side of the sponge. With these half moons, you can use the back end and load it with one or more colors. I'll show you why you want to do this. Make sure to wring out all the excess water in your sponge so when you press it on the skin, it doesn't get drippy. I'm going to load a light blue on one side of the back edge of my rounded part of the sponge. And then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to load up some wild purple on the other side. Look at this. You want to make sure that the colors meet in the middle and start to blend in the middle. I'm going to add a little extra blue there to soften the meat in the middle. Ta-da! And now I'm going to figure out which way I want it to go. We'll put the light color over the eye. Now you want to squeeze your sponge and, but not letting water out, and do a quick stipple back and forth and patting motion. You can pinch the tip of your sponge so that it fits in the eye area while you're doing your patting. Next, I'm going to just dip the outer tips of my sponge into the water and then wring out the excess water. We don't want any drips, guys. No drips here. Now I'm going to load some yellow on one side of the half moon sponge, just on the tips there. And then I'm going to load some of this beautiful magenta color onto the other side just getting that sharp edge loaded with paint, rubbing it back and forth until I see that it's nice and opaque. Now I'm ready to go. Here we go, head into the face. You can do some light stippling and blending in to the white base, and also you can do some dragging with the magenta. So that was not a smooth stipple, I was just dragging it out so you get like a hair texture. You can blend it in all the way around, and if you do a light stipple, you can go from lighter to lighter to lighter to add texture and dimension. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.